let's try to find the derivatives of these f of x's. The first one, f of x is equal to 3x to the 100th power plus 2x to the 5th power plus 779. What's going to be the f prime of x? Well, you're going to bring this 100 down, multiply it to 3, and you're going to have 300. And subtract 1 from the 100th power, you're going to have 99th power. You're going to keep the plus. 2x to the fifth, you're going to bring this 5 down. 2 times 5 is 10, and 5 minus 1 is 4. Now 779, that's constant. You don't have any variables attached to it. So when you take derivative, you're going to get 0, so you don't have to put anything down for 779. The next one, x to the 7th power plus x to the 6th power plus x over x squared. How you can think about doing this is by rewriting the entire function by dividing its term in the numerator by x squared. x to the 7th over x squared is x to the 5th. x to the 6th over x squared, 6x on top, 2x on bottom is x to the 4th. And x over x squared is 1 over x or x to the negative first power. Well, now what's f prime of x? Well, derivative of x to the 5th power is 5x to the 4th. Derivative of x to the 4th is 4x cubed. Derivative of x to the negative 1st power, you bring this negative 1 down. So you have plus negative 1 or negative, And you are going to subtract 1 from negative 1 to get negative 2. And you can rewrite. You can rewrite x to the negative 2nd power like this, 1 over x squared. 